All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, this is going to be for cancer. This will be for week three, July 2021. Let's see what we're looking at. Cancer. Three of Swords, Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Magician. Okay. So clearly there's something pretty disappointing here. It can be that tens are endings, right? So this is an ending. You feel betrayed, stabbed in the back, something's going on, you're not happy with the situation, you're disappointed. Um, it's, it's past disappointment, it's current disappointment, you're dealing with the Knight of Wands, you're dealing with somebody who is in and out, um, not reliable, not dependable. But you are manifesting something new. So this is actually a positive read. Um, let's see something real quick. Why the three of swords? Four of swords. It's, somebody's doing nothing. You know, they could be a little apprehensive. They could be a little nervous, intimidated. You're just at the point where you're doing nothing. If you go within, it makes you nervous, so you're probably overthinking. I will tell you there's no need to overthink anymore, um, whoever this suite is for, whatever collective it's for, because you're at the Ten of Swords, it's over. You're already manifesting something new. So if you're not taking action on what you're manifesting new, you're losing out in, in life, in your current scenario. Because you or somebody else is still focused on this. The Knight of Wands comes in and out, you know, three of Wands constantly. It, it has to do with your future, but this is putting something on hold. So you're dealing with somebody who's very stop and go, stop and go. This energy is considering their future. What's the three of Wands doing? This person could be at a distance. They could be dealing with a Leo or they are contemplating their future with a Leo or something long-term, something potential, something that has a, you know, something that can grow. Because the sun is the most positive deck in the card. Tell me about the sun real quick. Let's just see if we're speaking about a Leo or we're talking about growth. And even if this energy sees growth and sees potential, you're still dealing with chariot. Now we got cancer. Wanting to be triumphant, wanting to go after what they want, wanting to fight for it, not wanting to give up. They could be moving away from a Leo, moving towards one, a Cancer. There could be too many people in the picture. This is, you know, fighting for what you want, not giving up, not backing down. At the end of the day, though, you're still dealing with the Knight of Wands, somebody who's in and out, up and down. There's nothing solid about this energy. And I think you, you've had enough. Or they're stressing out. But even if they're stressing out, they're still not doing anything. See what I'm saying? There's an ending here, too. With the King of Pence. So the King of Pence, you're either ending it with an earth sign, or it's just talking about, you know, the, the nature of the person you're dealing with. But it could even be a work scenario. Or they've had it, they feel stabbed in the back. So the magician with the three of cups, you're manifesting your happiness, dating, friendships. You're manifesting happier days. Or well, you're dealing with somebody who still wants to have their cake and eat it too. I would hope not. Now you got two threes. You got three threes, actually. And that's not mind, body, and soul. That's three of cups, judgment. Yeah, see, this is it's a different scenario now. There's probably too many people in the picture. Like, there was too many people. You were manifesting something when there was too many people in the picture. Like, you can't manifest properly when it comes to that. Somebody's definitely going to want a second chance, forgiveness. You know, um, they're manifesting a second chance with you. And I know a lot of you, this is where you're like, 
I don't want that back and did it like I hear you okay we you don't have to have that back I wouldn't want this back either three of swords four of swords dealing with somebody who's in and out dealing with somebody who's stalling dealing with somebody who's not taking initiative you know you feel betrayed you feel stabbed in the back it's constant disappointment I get it but you can't be doing all this and manifesting a happy life either if this is for you because you'll be facing your own judgment right so if something's over it's over leave it be because you're in manifestation mode you are manifesting what you want but if you're doing it this way and using this to your advantage I don't see manipulation or anything but I'm telling you like spirit watches they watch they learn you all have spirit guides right so they're watching they know what's going on. If there's any manipulative energy, this will backfire. There is some backfiring going on. I like I don't I don't know if it's like I feel like there's a little bit of manipulation with the magician, but you could be dealing with somebody who wants things to go their way on their clock, their schedule. You know, five of wands. So yeah, see there's there's some drama here, there's competition, there's this is what I'm saying. This is why this will backfire. Because you're you're manifesting something in negative energy. Whoever this read is for, I would definitely look to the horizon. Look for other options, other scenarios, maybe other friendships. I mean, I hate to deliver messages like that, but it just looks like you're constantly going to be dis disappointed this week because you are dealing with somebody who's in and out of your life. This is an energy that puts you on hold. It does look like you have an energy that will probably try to come in and manifest this all over again. Like, I see potential. I want to be triumphant. Like, I want to win. There's no way I'm backing down. There's a little bit of an attitude here. Right? But they can't do that with this energy. The Magician, the Three of Cups with all this drama and judgment. Like, there's too much baggage. So, again, if you're dealing with this in and out, you know, be aware of this because this is an energy that's going to want to come back around because they want to win. But there's still drama. You're manifesting stuff you should not be manifesting right now, especially if you're in this energy. This doesn't even sound like my Cancerian energy. So just be careful this week because it just you're just going to keep getting disappointed because somebody's not doing something or you're spending too much time thinking about it. I can't believe this happened. Why did that happen? I can't believe I took that risk again. Like, I feel betrayed, stabbed in the back. Like, you know. I'm not saying you're manifesting wrong, per se, when you got yourself in this situation. But what you're doing, whoever this read is for, whomever the collective is right now, you're manifesting in negativity. Okay, yep, stretching, Max, thank you. This is what you're doing right now is you're creating more drama. And whether you're aware of it or not. And you, you might be dealing with somebody who does not even care that they're creating drama, to be quite honest with you. Because this is somebody who apparently has some type of, Paula, I can make this come around again. Because, because they did at one point. You've already completed a cycle with this person. So it's, it's clearly up to you on what direction you want to go, but... I would uh, wipe the slate clean mentally in your own brain before you begin to manifest again. Because as of right now, you have the capability. But if you're using it to manipulate or to get what you want on your terms or certain scenarios, you're, all you're manifesting is, is drama. So I want you to be careful there, okay? Yeah, see the three of swords, five of pence. You're gonna, you're feeling lonely, upset, left out, abandoned. Maybe that's what necessary. Maybe that's what you have to do to get to where you need to be. Ladies and gents, you're dealing with the Knight of Wands. This is not somebody who comes in and plants seeds. They plant the wrong type of seeds. Nine months later. You know, you're loving what's in front of you, but 
good chance you're going to be a single mama. Okay? So, three of pants reverse. There's no effort, there's no teamwork, there's no reliability, there's no security. It's not a good scenario. So, I'm telling you. If you're not in a negative space, you're not trying to manipulate a certain energy, you have the power to manifest right now. Okay. Do not manifest this back thinking this person's going to come back. Because every time they come back, like it's push and pull. They come back, they give you a little effort, and then they bounce again. And then you might still be talking to them. But it is, it's not, there's nothing secure here. Nothing. Zero. You're dealing with somebody who's got a little bit of a victim mentality, too. So, I'd be really careful with who you're allowing in your vicinity this week because this is somebody that's trying to come back around. And it still ends up in drama. So, there's, there's lack here. Okay, so don't continue to feed the lack. Because that's exactly what you're going to get in return. I'll see you guys on Patreon. Have a good week.